Hello friends, I am Shankar, practicing lower vision and rehabilitation in Bangalore since years. Today I am here to discuss about an ideal low vision clinic setup and the devices we use to evaluate and give management to patient. Also I will show practically how to do proper evaluation for diagnosis and how to give a management for each patient. Okay friends, let's go for a um, quick view of our clinic and the devices I use for evaluation and management of patients. See our large aperture trial box here which contain a large aperture frame along with a small rim larger lens set. Next moving to the optical devices first. We have a complete set of spectacle magnifier here. This is a monocular handheld telescope. Two type of book magnifier. It's a pocket magnifier. We have a 4x and 6x both. It's called a dictionary reader. Here you can use to read a small barcode. It's a stand magnifier. Here it's a large aperture handheld magnifier. It's a spectacle mounted telescope monocular. Dome magnifier. Again, it's a large aperture self illuminated handheld magnifier and all type of tint glasses. It will help to decrease contrast wherever needed or enhance brightness. And there are many others as you saw. Now moving to non-optical devices. Here we'll start with something called letter writer. You need to place it on your notebook for the better visibility. It increases contrast. This is signature guide. We have something called Notex. It's a reading stand. You can change the angle to cut down extra glare. It's a cane. Even we are using smart cane nowadays. Next, electronics devices. See, this is LBS scope. It's really good for long time reading and writing as it gives very good contrast, illumination, and unlimited magnification by moving this platform you can read a complete page easily it's a cctv magnifier here you need to roll it over the text to read it on screen it's a portable video magnifier again unlimited magnification best part of it we can change that background color we use etdrs visual chart even i do advice smart glasses also to patient based on patient's requirement it's a good combination of optics great technologies and artificial intelligence the first patient i'm going to evaluate here today is one 55 years old male professionally construction broker his both eye pseudophagic and underwent cataract surgery two years back then he diagnosed with right eye tractional retinal detachment one and a half years back and his vision came down 2PL positive. Left eye, he got severe proliferative diabetic retinopathy and underwent PRP laser also. He's taking medicine for diabetes since 11 years and it's not controlled. He's also under medication for hypertension. His main complaint was he's not able to read mobile masses, not able to see the contacts in mobile. Even though distance vision is blur, but he's able to manage his day to day life activity. His best corrective visual acuity is for distance 660 and for near N30 normal room light. Here the complaint in his word was, he could see the time showing on wall clock there, but not at all able to use his mobile. As I get patient here after basic primary workup like vision refraction, so I am directly going for the low vision related all the evolution. Started color vision test with Ishara where he could not recognize anything with the right eye but with the left eye he could see only demo plate. For Amsler test also he failed in the right eye but with left eye he was good for peripheral part. Same time mid periphery and central part was affected. 
Next is contrast sensitivity test done with CSB 1000 for distance and near. There he shows right eye nothing, so it's not applicable. With the left eye he was able to see circles but not the patches, not even with the high contrast one. We can see here he entered in cabin comfortably and sat on chair on his own without much difficulties. Then I just requested him to come to closer to ETR's chart and read from the closer distance to understand his normal reading speed. I tried 3x and 5x monocular telescope just to see his best visual potential and he read 612 and 69 with the 5x telescope. I thought of go for a bioptic telescope trial but patient refused that because he just wanted only near work devices. Even he was not really ready for the electronics device trial. So I directly moved to the optical devices and tried with a 4x handed magnifier where he read up to N8 comfortably and he read N6 also when he moved little closer to the book. With a 4x pocket magnifier he was okay to read till uh, somewhat N10 and around but uh, with a 6x pocket magnifier he read comfortably N6. Then we tried with a spectacle magnifier. So we started with a 2x magnification when he was reading but not beyond N12. So increased till 4x. The problem with the spectacle magnifier, higher magnification will decrease your working distance significantly. And he was not ready to hold book that close to read N6. Again he said that he does his maximum work on mobile only. So I thought and just gave him both the devices and ask him to decide which one is comfortable and clearer to use his mobile. He tried both alternately and preferred to go for the pocket magnifier. Reason he said that it's easy to carry anywhere. Suddenly he looked out and he said that under bright sunlight he is not able to recognize any vehicle or any road. He gets lots of glare. So I just thought of showing some light gradient first and when I show him he was really happy to see object how it looks with the light shade. Very next day I got an interesting patient and thought to summarize in this video. She is a 52 years old female, deaf and dumb by birth, both eyes would have a kick, cataract surgery done 7 years back. She diagnosed with retinitis pigmentosa in both eyes. She does lots of craft work at home and her soft toys goes to a big commercial brand also. And sister said she does all this work even without looking at that object. Main complaint was decreasing vision since last two years and she gets hurt herself if she try to walk in some unknown place. She has no health problem. Her vision was in right eye 660 part and left eye PL positive and right eye based near vision was in 30 part. She could not recognize anything while performed her color vision and contrast test. Also her ampsler and visual field report shows significant peripheral field defect in right eye and left eye it was not applicable. Even though she came to my clinic alone with her sister, but I requested her to leave her alone. Look at her independent mobility confidence, it was really poor. Even if you look at her forehead, there are many cut marks she got whenever she tried to move here and there alone. Quickly her sister came to her and was translating my words by their own touching language. Monocular telescope trial done just to see her best visual potential in the right eye. As you know, she can't hear anything and she can't speak also. In that case, by considering her professional requirement, I tried to improve her near vision and independent mobility by giving some devices. After few others spectacle magnifier trial, with the 8 adapter one, she started reading WhatsApp messages and see the reaction when I just lifted it up. Even she was able to read till N10 under bright light. I just gave her a light yellow tint glasses. As you know, it enhances brightness and maximizes image quality. I trained her how to use a cane for quite long time and advised for a smart cane 
also given guidance for partial blindness certificate to get which will be helpful in future she is really a happy patient she came back to me once i finished all the patient just to say thanks again it's very important uh, to know that there are no universal devices for a all low vision patient can get benefited so when you evaluate a low vision patient please listen patient carefully think do all the examination or evaluation you need it and handle with lots of kindness patient definitely will get benefit from